Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Modern Horizons 3 is here. This set is full of awesome new cards that we cannot wait to try out in CDH. Along with some really great reprints, Hello Fetchlands, this is sure to be an amazing set to play. However, we are most excited about the new Commander decks available in this set. And of course, we wanted to see how much we could break them. So strap in as we power up and unleash the wrath of these new Modern Horizons 3 Commander decks. A big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out the link in the description to get your hands onto Modern Horizons 3 releasing on June 14th. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First we have Zeb, piloting Ulalek, Fused Atrocity. Zeb colored up the Eldrazi Incursion deck and created a strategy where he attempts to assemble an infinite combo with Eldrazi Scions, then kills the table with Eldrazi ETBs. His backup plan is to cast Eldrazi Titans and literally annihilate his opponents. Next we have Alex, piloting Disa the Restless. Alex revitalized the Graveyard Overdrive deck to leverage the recursion ability of Lurgoyfs to create sacrifice loops and win by draining opponents' life totals. After that we have Mike, piloting Omo, Queen of Vesuva. Mike ramped up the Tricky Terrain deck to create heavy landfall and land synergies to overwhelm the table in value. He also abuses the new Everything counters to create advantage through Tron lands, Cloud Post, and other utility lands and creatures. Finally we have Matt Sperling, piloting Satya, Aetherflux Genius. Matt charged up the Creative Energy deck to leverage energy counters as additional resources. He also leans into cloning effects to create an additional advantage to take over the game. Without further ado, let's kick off this mad menacing modern mayhem. Zeb won the silhouette challenge and gets to start us off. Zeb draws a card for turn and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts a Carpet of Flowers. He passes. Alex draws and plays a Command Tower. He also casts a Carpet of Flowers. He moves to his second main phase and adds a black through his carpet. He casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Alex passes. Mike draws, plays a Misty Rainforest, and ends his turn. Matt draws and plays an Ottawara, Soaring City. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Talisman of Creativity. He pays two life to help cast Phyrexian Metamorph. It enters as a copy of Talisman of Creativity. After a blazing fast turn one, Matt ships the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He passes. Alex draws and in his first main phase, he has a red through his carpet. He plays a Tarnished Citadel for turn. He casts Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts a Necropotence. He activates Necropotence 10 times, paying 10 life, exiling 10 cards. He moves to his end step and Necropotence triggers. In response, Mike cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life, and fetches up a Hedge Maze onto the battlefield tapped. It enters and Mike surveils, leaving it on top. Then Alex puts the Necro cards into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size, exiling the discarded cards. Mike draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts a Sylvan Library. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Omo, Queen of Vesuva. Omo enters, and Mike puts an Everything Counter onto Omo and Hedge Maze. Mike ships the turn to Matt. During his upkeep, Matt wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and taps his Talisman to help cast Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Dockside Extortionist. Matt passes. At the end of Matt's turn, Zeb taps his Ancient Tomb to flash in a Skittering Cicada. Zeb draws and in his first main phase he adds a black through his carpet of flowers. He plays a Wooded Foothills for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast his commander, Ulalek, Fused Atrocity. Skittering Cicada triggers and gets plus 5 plus 5 and trample. Ulalek resolves and Zeb moves to combat. He attacks Alex with a Cicada. Alex takes 7 and finished up, Zeb passes to Alex. Alex skips his draw step due to Necropotence. He plays an Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth for turn. He moves to a second main phase and adds a black through his carpet. He casts Sheoldred, the Apocalypse. Mike sighs as he looks at his Sylvan Library. Sheoldred resolves and Alex activates Necropotence five times, paying five life and exiling five cards. He moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size, exiling the discarded cards. During his draw step, Sylvan Library and Sheoldred trigger. Mike loses two, then Mike declines his Sylvan Library. In his main phase, he casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing a forest, fetching up an Urza's Power Plant onto the battlefield. And since Hedge Maze has an Everything Counter on it, Power Plant is online. He taps Power Plant for two to help cast Ramanop Excavator. He plays a Wooded Foothills from his graveyard through Ramanop. He moves to combat and attacks Matt with Omo. Omo triggers and Mike puts an Everything Counter onto Urza's Power Plant and Ramanop Excavator. Matt takes it and Mike ships the turn. During his upkeep, Matt wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws, Sheoldred triggers, and Matt loses two life. In his main phase, Matt taps his talisman to help cast a Flesh Duplicate, and enters as a copy of Sheoldred. Matt ends his turn. Zeb draws, Sheoldred triggers, and he loses four life. In his first main phase, he adds two black through his carpet. He plays a Gemstone Caverns for turn. He casts Ashnod's Altar. Skittering Cicada triggers and gets plus three plus three. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with the Cicada. Alex takes it, and Zeb ends his turn. 
Alex skips his draw step due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he adds two red through his carpet. He plays a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth for turn. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Cavern of Souls, exiling it through Necropotence. He casts Power Balance. The table straps in, and Alex gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws, both Shieldred's trigger, and Mike loses four. In his main phase, he plays an Urza's Tower. He casts Thrasios, Triton Hero. Power Balance triggers, and Alex reveals a Veil of Summer. With nothing else, Mike gives the turn to Matt. During his upkeep, Matt's Flesh Duplicate and Mana Crypt trigger. He loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He also removes a counter from Flesh Duplicate. During his draw step, he loses two and gains two from the Shieldreds on the battlefield. In his main phase, he taps both Talismans to help cast Goldspan Dragon. Power Balance triggers and, in response, Alex activates Necropotence, paying a life, exiling the top card. Then Alex reveals an unmarked grave. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Goldspan Dragon. It triggers and Matt creates a treasure. Then Alex takes it and Matt passes. At the end of Matt's turn, Zeb taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Kozilek's Return. Skittering Cicada and Power Balance triggers. In response, Alex activates Necropotence, paying a life and exiling the top card. Then he reveals a Snow-Covered Swamp. Then Skittering Cicada gets plus three plus three. Then Kozilek's Return deals two damage to each creature and Zeb moves to his turn. Zeb draws Shieldred's Trigger and Zeb loses four life. In his first main phase, he adds two black through his carpet. He casts Energy Tap, targeting Ulalek. Power Balance triggers and, in response, Alex activates Necropotence, paying a life and exiling a card. He then reveals a Sylvan Library. Then Energy Tap resolves, Zeb taps Ulalek and adds five colorless. Zeb activates Ashnod's Altar, sacrificing Skittering Cicada, adding two colorless. He casts Vampiric Tutor. Power Balance triggers and, in response, Alex activates Necropotence, paying a life and exiling a card. Then Alex reveals a Stitcher's Supplier, casting it. It enters, and Alex mills three. Then Zeb fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He casts Emrakul, the promised end. Emrakul and Ulalek trigger. Zeb pays two to copy all of his spells and activated abilities. He copies Emrakul and Emrakul's ability. The ability resolves, then the copy of Emrakul enters the battlefield, then Emrakul's other ability resolves, then the original Emrakul resolves. Zeb sacrifices the token to the legend rule, and with nothing else, Zeb passes the turn. Zeb controls Alex through Emrakul. Zeb untaps and skips his draw step. In his main phase, he adds two red through his carpet. He casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Omo. In response, Mike activates Thrasios, scrying one, and revealing a breeding pool onto the battlefield tapped. He casts Scourge Familiar. He activates Necropotence two times, paying two life, going to one life, and exiling two cards. He moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. Now, with nothing else to do, Zeb pays one life through Necro, and Alex dies. The turn moves to Mike. Mike draws, Shield her triggers, and Mike loses two life. In his main phase, he plays a forest from his graveyard through Ramanop. He recasts his commander, Omo. It enters, and Mike puts an everything counter onto his breeding pool and his Thrasios. Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Matt knows that Zeb is going to control his turn. So, Matt cracks his treasures for two through Goldspan Dragon to help cast the Galvanic Discharge, targeting Goldspan. Goldspan triggers, and Matt creates a treasure. Then Matt gets three energy. He casts Ephemerate, targeting Flesh Duplicate. He holds priority and casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting the original Flusterstorm, countering everything. Then Ephemerate resolves and exiles, Flesh Duplicate flickers and enters as a copy of Emrakul. Now with no cards in hand, Matt moves to his turn. Zeb controls Matt during his turn. During his upkeep, Flesh Duplicate, Mana Crypt, and Ephemerate trigger. Matt casts Ephemerate from Exile, targeting Goldspan Dragon. It triggers, and Matt creates a treasure. He wins his Mana Crypt roll. He then removes a counter from Flesh Duplicate. He draws and taps both Talismans for red, taking two damage. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with his Goldspan Dragon. It triggers, and Matt creates a treasure. Zeb blocks with his Emrakul. Goldspan dies, and in his second main phase, he sacks both of his treasures, then passes the turn. Matt then takes his extra turn. During his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes three damage. He also removes a counter from Flesh Duplicate. He draws and taps his Talisman to help cast Unstable Amulet. It enters and Matt adds two energy. He activates the Amulet, paying two energy, exiling Blaster Hulk from the top of his library. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Emrakul. Mike takes it all and Matt gives the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and moves to combat. He attacks Mike with Emrakul. Mike takes it and in his second main phase, Zeb adds three black from his carpet. He taps his Ancient Tomb and activates Ashnod's Altar, sacrificing Ulalek and Emrakul to help cast Rise of the Eldrazi. He destroys Matt's Flesh Duplicate, draws four cards, then gets an extra turn. With nothing else, Zeb moves to his next turn. Zeb draws, and in his first main phase, he adds three green through his carpet. He casts Mana Crypt. He casts a Mana Vault. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help recast his commander, Ulalek. He casts Deathrite Shaman. Zeb passes the turn. During his draw step, Mike's Sylvan Library triggers. In response, Zeb casts Eldrazi Confluence. He gives Thrasios and Ramana plus three minus three, killing them, and then creates an Eldrazi Scion. Then Mike draws two extra, then puts two back on top. In his main phase, he casts Tatiova, Benthic Druid. He cracks his wooded foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Tangled Islet onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers, and Mike gains a life and draws a card. He plays a Tropical Island for turn. Tatiova triggers, and Mike gains a life and draws another card. He casts Trade Routes. He casts Exploration. He activates Trade Routes, bouncing Urza's Tower back to his hand. He plays Urza's Tower as his 
this exploration land for turn. Tatiova triggers and Mike gains a life and draws a card. Finished up, Mike gives the turn to Matt. During his upkeep, Matt wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and activates Unstable Amulet, paying 2 energy. He exiles Boromir, Warden of the Tower, from the top of his library. He casts a Lotus Petal. He taps his Talisman to help cast its commander, Satya, Aetherflux Genius. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Satya. Matt gets 2 energy, then Zeb blocks with a Scion and Ulalak. The Scion dies and Matt passes to Zeb. During his upkeep, Zeb loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. During his draw step, he takes a damage through his Mana Ball. In his main phase, he has 3 green through his carpet. He plays a guy as Cradle for turn. He activates Deathrite Shaman, exiling a land from Mike's graveyard, adding a blue. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Chittering Dispatcher. Ulalek triggers, Zeb pays 2 and copies it. Both enter, then Zeb casts Neoform, sacrificing the token copy of Chittering Dispatcher. Dispatcher triggers, and Zeb creates an Eldrazi spawn. He then fetches up a Roaming Throne onto the battlefield, naming Eldrazi as it enters. All through, Zeb passes. During his draw step, Mike draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He casts Nature's Lore. He fetches up, uh, nothing, unfortunately failing to find. He casts Azusa, Lost But Seeking. He floats mana, then activates Trade Routes, returning Urza's Tower to his hand. He plays Urza's Tower for turn. Tatiova triggers, and Mike gains a life and draws a card. He floats mana, then activates Trade Routes again, bouncing Urza's Tower. He plays Urza's Tower as his Exploration Land for turn. Tatiova triggers and he gains a life and draws another card. He floats mana, then bounces Urza's tower through trade routes and plays it as his first Azuzu land for turn. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life, and draws a card. He floats mana, bounces Urza's tower through trade routes, plays it as his second Azuzu land for turn, then gains a life and draws a card through Tatiova. He casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals 10. He fetches up an Avenger of Zendikar onto the battlefield, then each of his creatures gets plus 10 plus 10 and gains haste. Avenger of Zendikar triggers and Mike creates 7 plants. Mike moves to combat and attacks Matt with Avenger, Azusa, and Tatiova, and attacks Zeb with Omo. Omo triggers and Mike puts an everything counter onto Omo. Zeb blocks with Chittering Dispatcher. Matt dies, Displacer dies, triggers, and Zeb creates an Eldrazi spawn. Finished up, Mike passes to Zeb. During his upkeep, Zeb wins his Mana Crypt roll. Also during his upkeep, he taps Deathrite Shaman, exiling a land from Mike's graveyard to help pay to untap Mana Vault. He draws, and in his first main phase, he adds 5 green through his carpet. He casts Eternal Scourge. Ulalek triggers twice through Roaming Throne, and Zeb taps Ancient Tomb to help pay for both. He creates two more Eternal Scourge, then the original resolves. Holding up blockers, Zeb passes to Mike. During his draw step, Mike draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. In his main phase, he casts a Lotus Cobra. He plays a Windswept Teeth for turn. He gains a life and draws a card through Tatiova. He adds a green through Lotus Cobra, then each of his plants get a plus one plus one counter through Avenger of Zendikar. He cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, failing to find. He plays a Lush Oasis as his Exploration Land for turn, dealing one to Zeb. He gains a life, draws a card, adds a green, and gives his plants a counter. He casts Sylvan Scrying. He fetches up a Gaius Cradle into his hand. He plays Gaius Cradle as his first Azusa Land for turn. He gains a life, draws a card, adds a green, then gives his plants a counter. He casts Turn Temper Symbiosis. He looks at the top 7 of his library, putting Voyaging Seder onto the battlefield, giving it 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters. He casts Disciple of Fraelis. It enters, Mike sacrifices Voyaging Seder, drawing 4 cards and gaining 4 life. He channels Ottawara, Soaring City, bouncing Roaming Throne back to Zeb's hand. He activates Trade Routes, bouncing Lush Oasis back to his hand. He plays Lush Oasis as his second Azusa land for turn. He pings Zeb for 1, gains a life, draws a card, adds a green, and gives his plants a counter. He moves the combat and attacks Zeb with everything. Zeb blocks Avenger and the plants, but unfortunately, it isn't enough. He takes lethal damage, dies, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an awesome game. Congrats to Mike on his win. He was almost dead after being hit with two Emrakuls, but he clawed his way back, navigating his lines perfectly, and closed it out with style. We are very excited to see what Modern Horizons 3 is going to do to the Commander scene, and we are especially excited to see what the CDH landscape will become. A big thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video, giving us the ability to show off these awesome new decks for Modern Horizons 3. Check out the link in the description to learn more about Modern Horizons 3 as well as where to pick up some yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.